Welcome to this quick overview video of SALT, Change Intelligence Software for SAP Solutions. After logging into SALT, the first thing I see is the SALT dashboard, which gives me access to all of the SALT apps, and also displays a list of recent changes. In this video, we can't look at all of the SALT apps, so we'll just cover a few. First up, let's take a look at Matrix. Matrix allows you to compare systems to check your landscape integrity and find out exactly what's different and what's not. Here I have three systems connected to SALT, Dev, QA and Production. So let's compare the landscape. Very quickly, SALT has compared all of the versionable objects across all three systems and provides the results in a hierarchical manner. By drilling down through the hierarchy, I can find the low-level result and view all of the object details and the related transport number. Here we can see this search help object is different in the QA system to development and also different in production. The small number next to the icon shows that it is two versions behind development in QA and four versions behind in production. By clicking on the object result, I can quickly bring up an object diff or comparison between the current state in QA and the current state in development. Here's another example. This time, the object is still different in QA as before, but it's the same in production as development. This indicates a sequence issue where changes are not being propagated correctly and is something I would need to investigate. Another way you might use matrix is to compare not the entire landscape, but simply two systems. For example, production to QA, perhaps before I commence my testing. So that's just two examples of what you can do with Matrix. But let's move on. The next app to look at is Whip Window. Whip Window provides a view of all of my work in progress, that is, changes that haven't yet gotten to their destination system. Here we can see the list of results, which shows every object version which is work in progress, and provides the relevant details, such as the version number, author, and transport. I can easily view a comparison between the change and the previous version. Or I can view the current version of the object in the development system. Viewing all of the work in progress for my system is useful, but there are other use cases too. For instance, if a developer or contractor moves off a project, we might want to make sure that all of their work in progress is cleaned up or reassigned. I can change the author selection and recalculate the work in progress. This time you can see, because I'm looking at just one developer, there are fewer results. The final landscape management app is Coldcase, which, like Whip Window, provides a view of work in progress, but with two important differences. Firstly, it provides a time filter allowing us to see only work in progress which hasn't had any development or transport activity for a defined time period. And secondly, it displays the results as transports. This allows us to find stagnant transports which represent stale change that's been forgotten about or abandoned. In the results list you can see that each transport is listed with its relevant details and also the system that it's currently up to. By expanding a transport we can see all of the versionable objects inside and, as normal, drill down to view a diff. Finally, let's look at an app with a slightly different focus. CodeFerret provides quick, Google-like searching of all of your ABAP source code. I simply select the system and enter my search query. You can see very quickly, Salt searches all of my ABAP source code objects and returns all of the hits for my query. I can easily filter out hits within ABAP comments and also add advanced search query terms. For instance, to filter by transport, object name, author, or other object properties. This is a really useful utility for developers or anyone else that needs to quickly analyze a lot of ABAP source code. Another way you can use CodeFerret is to verify coding standards or look for dangerous ABAP methods. 
For example, let's look for breakpoints inside the production system, something that could be a serious risk to stability. Again, CodeFerret quickly searches the system and provides all of the hits I need. So that's just a quick taste of Salt. All of Salt's apps combined provide a powerful set of functions for the entire SAP project team. Check out our other videos on saltapps.com to learn more and get started with Salt today.